Praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony, and our topic for today is abandonment. We will define abandonment, and we will discover the four strongmen behind abandonment. On tomorrow's video, we will launch a counterattack against abandonment, and we will have the victory in our hands when we enter that battlefield. Come along, saints. This is a wonderful journey of deliverance. Abandonment is when a person withdraws their presence and support from another person or organization. They renege on their duties, responsibilities, and obligations, and they betray covenants and commitments. The enemy seduces people, particularly those who play key roles in other people's lives or in organizations' development and progress causing them to renege on commitments and contracts, making them walk away from relationships and responsibilities. This act of abdication has the power to cause great emotional pain, financial hardship, spiritual misalignment, confusion, and organizational chaos in the abandoned. Abandonment can be physical, emotional, psychological, either perceived or real. It can occur within one's job, career, political or military posts, within family relationships, and also friendships. The Apostle Paul experienced ministerial abandonment, but the Lord provided for him three individuals, Timothy, Mark, and Luke, to encourage and refresh him during his season of testing saints, as well you can receive the same from the Lord. If you're willing to repent, forgive, and bask in the presence of the Holy Spirit, knowing you've been delivered and that you can walk that deliverance out. On your own time, read 2 Timothy 4, 9 through 18, and you'll see where Paul was abandoned and comforted. Issues arising from abandonment, such as the, the inability to trust others, manipulative disorders, shame, fear of rejection, loneliness, suspicion, addictions, codependencies, and a host of other maladaptive sets of behavior interfere with a victim's inability to foster future healthy and loving relationships. We find four strong men behind abandonment, hiding, and they need to be dealt with, no longer being in denial that they're there, forcefully resisted and cast out by the power of Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness. The first spirit behind abandonment, saints, you will find in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggers in his vomit. You will find in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3, our second strong man of spirit of heaviness. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. The third spirit behind abandonment, many people have no clue of this one being in their midst. Wow. The spirit of divination in Acts 16, 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved 
turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out of her the same hour. Proof that it is a spirit, saints, and that it has to be dealt with with the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit bringing life to you and death and destruction to that spirit. The spirit of death is the fourth strong man. 1 Corinthians 15, 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Saints, these are strong men spirits bringing chaos, confusion, hard feelings, resentments, destroyed marriages, destroyed relationships, destroyed businesses, destruction on a global level, abandonment, hiding behind spirits of perversion, heaviness, divination, and death. These are all spirits that we will be indefinitely studying on, learning about, casting out and breaking ties with it's an ongoing process saints to be delivered I declare and decree in Jesus name that deliverance is the children's bread and we are the children of the most high God there is no spirit that can overtake us or overwhelm us when the Lord God Almighty lives in us the spirit of Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. I declare and decree today that as you understand what abandonment is, you will learn to identify it, deny it access in your life, deal with these other strong men, spirits, and be completely set free by the power of Ruach HaKodesh. Stay tuned, saints, for tomorrow we will counterattack abandonment with prayer, and we shall prevail, for the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. In Jesus' name, amen.